In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a Flutter package, Wake Lock. This package enables you to disable automatic screen lock within your app, so that when you have something that needs to be shown at all times, the screen doesn't turn off automatically. Here, this is the simple app we're going to build today, where we have two buttons. Currently, the Wake Lock is disabled, and when we press on it, it's enabled, and if we press on the disable button, it's disabled. Of course, I can't really show you this in the simulator, but this is of course for real devices. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter package Wake Lock. Just press on this button here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Now concerning the layout, I simply built a very simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold. With the scaffold, we have an app bar and the body, and the body has a column which is centered, and this column has an elevated button, a size box, another elevated button, another size box, and then some text. In this case, this text is wrapped with a future builder, which I'm going to explain to you in just a bit. First, of course, import the wake log package into your Flutter file. Then, as mentioned, we have the column here, where the first elevated button is to enable the wake log. We can simply do this by saying wake log dot enable, and to disable it, we simply say wake log dot disable. And to get the current state of the wake lock, you can use the wake lock dot enabled future, so that in this case, then we can use the future builder. So as long as the stream is null, we simply return a container, so nothing gets shown underneath the button here. And once we've enabled it or disabled it, it will show here. You can also call the wake lock within your main function. To do this, you can use widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized. And then you can call wake lock dot enable. But if you further read this explanation here, it's not recommended to do it within the main function because this is usually not expected that your app is constantly running. So make sure you read through this to make sure that you don't make some kind of mistake. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.